Okay, so 7.30-ish. We just took a 35, which is getting us within a batch, a batch reach. But job's not over. Time can slip away real quick. So we're just gonna run through this. This is a good order, 12 items. A little bit of a drive, but you know, another blessing. Yo, what's good you guys? We are in the parking garage. I am about to get in my car. I just took a 34 Walgreens to start my day at 5.10. I usually don't take orders this early, but you know, I decided to get up earlier today, get ready. But we're gonna try to crush it today. So let's get over to Walgreens and knock these 11 items out real quick. All right, there she is. Not a big Walgreens guy, but Let's go bang this out. Now we get to drive 20 minutes north. It's all right. It's still early. Okay, so since the Walgreens order, that I think went up just a little bit. It was a long drive up to Solana Beach from downtown, but it went smooth. We got it done. And then as soon as we dropped the Walgreens off, the Smart and Final popped up. I'll show you guys on the screen. I didn't really film any of the shop. It was a lot of work took me two carts at the end and then we just grabbed this batch right here on the screen so we're at sprouts right now we're gonna try to get this done it's about 7 30 so we're on pace for a really good number today it's all about moving like i said in the last video and just not stopping being stagnant because we all know how it goes when that happens so we're gonna run in here run this order and try to get it done by 8 30. So it's almost 8.30, we are up almost 1.30, 37, 39, not 50. Even on this order, I delivered out of order. They wanted me to drop off down here first and then drive back up here, which made no sense. So I dropped off here, then went down here, and then after I dropped off here, which was A, marked it as delivered, and then on the spot, I marked B as delivered. Make sure you guys have that picture of the delivery as well in your camera roll. All right, we just got in the store for this little 29, 849. Should be a breeze. Bang this out real quick. All right, let's get it going. Right, so here we are. 949 or 180. Quick breakdown. We did the Walgreens batch. Then we did that crusty smart and final. We got that Sprouts order. Got that Vaughn's order, which wasn't a 41, it was a 29, but it had a um, bunch of gallons of water and a case of Pepsi, so I got heavy pay. And then I did a quick $12. So, super quick. Now we're at Costco. Hopefully we get something good. Okay, so we're walking up to Costco right now. And I thought mine was good, and it is good. It's a stupid good order. But look what my homie got at a different Costco. 164, sheesh. That would have really put me up. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go inside and run this 79, baby. We're pumped about it. All right, so here we have it. A Little bit of a grip, it's 10.30, so it didn't take me long to shop it. I got extra empty boxes for later. Let me get this over here. This is my A. 
had one replacement here. This is my B. We had one replacement here. I had to replace her chips. So they were both non-responsive, but I picked out the best in my opinion. No, you're good. You're not gonna hit any. Oh, my door. Sorry, I thought I thought you were talking about my boxes. My mistake. <laughs> of course. All right, so let's load this up. We'll figure it out. <laughs> It'll be fun. <laughs> Thank you. We don't have a cart. So this is how I do it. Actually, that's not smart. Gonna have to kind of just maneuver. It's not a bunch. I should probably get a cart, but I'm just gonna stop the elevator, get all this to their suite. Hopefully, it's not a far walk. Okay, so it's a little bit slow. After that 79, I went back to Costco because I needed to fill up the tank. And we ran this little 15 right here. Where is it? I grabbed it because it was only two items, but. Uh, it dropped me seven and a half miles down here, but no add-on, it's all right. Okay, we just grabbed this. What I love about it is that it's a single two and a half miles. This gets me back in the game after a little dry period, so I'm gonna run through this real quick. Especially with the amount of orders I have done today and I'm going to do still sitting in a little traffic uh, going north and I am driving up north with this batch right here I'll show you guys on the screen this is pretty much the longest I've had to wait today for a decent order I took a 32 after waiting but it just I didn't like it there's a bunch of shopper notes there was a bunch of weighted grains and rice and stuff like that. And then on top of that, it was nine miles. So I just canceled that, went to a different store, got this order. This is going to put me around 455 by around 420. I'm trying to run up some big numbers today. My goal was to clear 500. I should do that easily. I was hoping to clear six at least with the start that I had, but we'll see how it goes. Just gotta get through this traffic and then make my next decision on where I wanna go. So I'll keep you guys updated. All right, so we took a 57 Albertsons. Actually, we didn't take it, we got blessed with it. This is gonna put me over 600 for the day by a decent hour. I'm just gonna try to run this and then, you know, it's starting to be kind of crazy because I've never hit seven in a day. My biggest day is 679, so. Just gotta keep running this up. I don't know how late I'm gonna go, but it doesn't matter how late I go. As long as I clear a number that I've never hit before, it's gonna be 100% worth it. Okay, so 7.30-ish, we just took a 35, which is getting us within a batch, a batch reach. But job's not over. Time can slip away real quick, so we're just gotta run through this. This is a good order, 12 items. A Little bit of a drive, but you know, another blessing. Well, we started when it was dark out, and we're gonna end when it's dark out. I'm not saying this is gonna be my last batch, but this is going to set me over 700, 720 something. I don't know, we'll see. I, I think I'm just gonna push until I can't anymore. We'll see, but this has been a gnarly day. I'm exhausted, you guys can't tell. Here we go, I'm batch like 15 or 16. All right, this is the last one of the night. It's 
I'm gonna drop this off after 10 o'clock. We're ready to be done. And then I'll give you guys the final numbers when I get back. All right, we're back home. We're on the elevator, we're going up to the apartment. It's 10.30, I've got food on the way. And yes, I tipped my DoorDash driver more than the last customer tipped me on a 30 mile drive. Solid end to the day. I'll throw the numbers up on the screen here and maybe I'll do another video breaking down the day, kind of giving more detail on what my strategy was because I had a strategy 100%. And obviously there's some luck that goes into it as well. So I'm gonna end it right now. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.